for the next 1,000 years, no asteroid larger than a kilometer will hit Earth. But smaller meteoroids are possible. There will be no large meteorites colliding with Earth for at least the next 1,000 years. There won't be any big impacts for the next 1,000 years, which is good news, said Oscar Fuentes Munoz, an astronomer at the University of Colorado, USA, who led a study on statistics of near-Earth asteroids published in the Astronomical Journal. About 66 million years ago, dinosaurs were wiped out by a 10-kilometer-wide asteroid. Not only did it wipe out most life on land in just a few hours, the impact also left a layer of dust that blocked sunlight, causing a decades-long winter. Fortunately, such large collisions are rare. NASA once estimated that asteroids larger than a kilometer, capable of causing extinction like 66 million years ago, collide with Earth about once every few million years. However, no one knows if the current time is within that few million years. Fuentes Munoz's team argues that the answer is no. NASA's catalog of near-Earth asteroids larger than a kilometer has accounted for about 95% of existing celestial bodies, equivalent to nearly 1,000 asteroids. Typically, scientists can track the orbits of these asteroids to predict their paths for the next 100 years. The new study uses a different approach, only considering the near-Earth orbit segments of asteroids instead of the entire orbit. Because only a small part of the orbit is calculated, computing power is saved to estimate a longer time period, up to 1,000 years, explains Davide Fanocchia, an astronomer at NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies. The asteroid with the highest risk of colliding with Earth is 1994 PC1, about one kilometer wide, and has a 0.00151% chance of passing through the Moon's orbit in the next 1,000 years. Although extremely small, this rate is 10 times higher than any other asteroid. However, this asteroid is unlikely to collide, Fuentes Munoz said. However, smaller asteroids, which are more numerous, still pose a risk to Earth. For example, in 2013, a 20-meter-wide meteorite exploded over Chelyabinsk, Russia, injuring more than 1,000 people. Small objects still cause significant damage. Fuentes Munoz said asteroids larger than 140 meters in diameter could destroy a city. NASA's catalog of these types of asteroids is only about 40% complete. The collision rate depends on the number of asteroids, while this number is still uncertain and requires further sky surveys, the expert said. However, for now, people can rest assured. There will be asteroids heading towards Earth, but it's almost impossible before the year 3000, O'Brien said. 